I would say this has to do with personal gift. I mean, we have some very good musicians. And fortunately, we also had musicians like Robert Schumann, who was open to other uh, art and other, uh, I mean, literature, and uh, also to colleagues. He was not the kind of guy who said, oh, what is he doing, what is he doing? So he was generous at the same time, very acute in his listening and his uh, criticizing. But when Chopin arrived, he said, chapeau, and uh, he realized immediately this exceptional uh, genius. I don't play a historical piano, for example. Maybe one day I will be convinced here to try out the pianos because there are some fantastic instruments here in Warsaw. But uh, I think uh, we still grow up with our tradition. I mean, when I think of this symphony, uh, there are old traditions who have a big meaning, like Fort Wengler conducting this with the Berlin Philharmonic, for example. And then uh, uh, all of a sudden you hear Baroque groups starting to develop into classical repertoire and romantic repertoire. But I think I, I, think I still dream of some uh, um, more old-fashioned sound in getting this Schumann over. And uh, today I was quite happy because uh, we, yeah, it had this, it's undescribable. I mean, Schumann has different colors than anybody else. He writes in a way that many people even said he can't orchestrate, but it's very difficult to pull it out. And this, maybe the historic groups have, it, it's easier for them because the balance is, is easier. So they have fewer strings and they have the winds. And here you have enormous amounts of string players. But it's our job to balance it and to, to create the, this feeling that you hear the colors and they, they come through. And I must say, uh, this is not a historic group, but we had a wonderful uh, experience together making this Schumann sound. Now, yeah, it's the first time I conduct them. So I uh, started playing uh, with the Polish Chamber Orchestra, with Maximia, we recorded, and that was already a very important time. It, it was the beginning of my Mozart piano concertos for, for record. And then we met from time to time, and then they changed into a bigger orchestra, but I was still soloist. And of course, sometimes you give ideas and influence, but it's not like conducting. So this was the very first time we met, and even in their big formation, and I must say, uh, and maybe the director already told you this, uh, the, what I wanted to get, uh, they gave me a lot, and uh, I think I was quite demanding, but fortunately they want this. This is an orchestra who wants to rehearse, and wants to work, and I think we got, I mean, in a, a quite a short time, we only had th three days, you know, we got really a result that uh, is, has a character, you know, it had a very special uh, character of sound and of behavior and, and attitude, and I'm, I'm very, very pleased with it. You know, this is like asking me, which is your favorite piece of music? <laughs> or which piece of music would you take to a desert island, uh, it's, it's almost impossible. Because I come into a room at home and I say, aha, this little figure, like a little sculpture from Africa, this is absolutely special, you know, for example. And then I turn around and I see a, a drawing by an American, also, yeah, Maybe the objects I like the most are from people who are not studied artists, you know, but who have art as a, as a almost like a holy uh, something they do, uh, uh, which art in the old, in the oldest times of mankind was. It was something spiritual, something uh, almost like a religious object, and I think I would choose probably one of these things instead of a representative painting, you know. <laughs>